Um, so can you tell us why you're here today, please? Well, we're here today you know, celebrating the fact that Roosevelt Island is now on Google Maps. And uh, this young man made it all happen. And I want him to tell us how he made it happen. But it's not only on Google Maps, it's on uh, Bing and it's on Apple Maps. Uh, and so everybody can find the, the, the tram. And, and uh, how did you make that happen? Well, it was, a, it was a team effort. Uh, we had to take the schedule and convert it into a format that the technology companies could use. Uh, and so I worked with Riyadh, who was very helpful in making that happen. Uh, and then with the offices of the electives here to, to make sure that we emphasize how important it was to get this form of transportation uh, on the map so the residents can use it. You know, pre-pandemic, this carried 3,000 uh, Roosevelt Islanders a day, almost a fourth of the population of the island. And on days like today, when the subway's not running, it's even more critical to know where it is. And so, so proud to be able to work with uh, these electeds here uh, to get the tram and the red buses on all the MAPS programs so that Roosevelt Island residents can uh, uh, carry about their community. Great. Every now and then, someone comes up with a ridiculous idea of stopping the tram. This ensures the tram is never going to be stopped. Everybody's going to know how to get to it and, and use it as we saw today. Roosevelt Island is a very special place and when we got the call from Alan saying I need to cut through the red tape and get to Riyadh, we were pleased to call Shelton Haynes and say Alex is going to make this happen. So we set up a meeting and with the help of all the electeds we got it done. So thank you Alex. This is a great celebration today. Great, thanks. Uh, one of the other issues with the tram is that it's not on the Omni system yet. Can you tell us what the latest is on that please? Sure. So as you know, we have sent a letter to REAC. We've been pushing very hard in a joint coalition of all the elected officials. They are, in terms of Omni, they've agreed that they would expedite Omni and access to Omni. And so that should be happening within the year. Great. Also, one other issue is that a lot of Roosevelt Island residents are concerned that they use this as an essential means of transportation, both residents and workers. But it's also become a tourist attraction. Uh, which creates great overcrowding. And some people have thought if it's possible to somehow give residents preference to board at certain times. I was wondering if you had any thoughts on that. I would support that. We could have uh, some time set aside for resident preference. Uh, people have to get home, they have to get to work, and, and it should be set aside. We can have uh, uh, others that want to ride you know, use it at other times. The main thing is to keep the tram running, keep the tram open, Thank you very much. Thank you.